Hey everybody, Mike here, and welcome back to my shop. So, a couple of days ago I did a post on Facebook about my bioethanol heater, uh, this guy right here, and you guys were very interested in how it was made. So I'm going to show you, I'm just going to break it down, show you the components, show you how I put it together, and before we do that I want to give a huge shout out to Robert Murray Smith, I'll put a link to his channel below. He came up with this design, I'm a huge fan of his channel, so make sure you check that out, right? So let's uh, dive in, I'll show you how I made this. Here we go. Okay guys, well, here are all the components. And uh, yeah, before I explain how it's built, uh, just check out the disclaimer below, right? I don't want you to burn down your house or suffocate or whatever and blame me for it, okay? Alrighty, so for the build, uh, we're going to start with a simple soup can. Let me get rid of my coffee here. Just a simple soup can. Right, it is uh, about eight and a half centimeters diameter, which is about three and a half inches, something like that. The height is about eight and a half as well, so that's again three and a half inches, and it's lined with something called graphite felt. And I'll try to get it out, it's really stuck in there. Hopefully, you can see that. It's a material called graphite felt. Now, this is basically a wick, right? So when you put your fuel in this can, uh, the graphite felt will uh, act as a wick and it will suck it up to the top there so it will allow you to ignite it, right? So there's nothing else to it, that's it. Now, what goes in this can here, this is a steel mesh. I got this off of Amazon, I kind of wrapped it around, and this will kind of uh, function as a heat transmitter, if you will. Let me just stick that in there, like so. And then as a lid, another soup can, which is slightly smaller, and this one is, let's see, seven and a half centimeters, or about three inches, okay? So we're gonna put that on top. Try to get it in there. And in essence, this is already your completed burner, right? You put the fuel in here, you ignite it, and then this will start to glow, right? And that's your heater. Now, because I don't think it looks that great this way, and it's also quite dangerous, uh, I put a couple of other components on it, okay? So that's what I'm going to show you now. Now, this bowl and this top here. It's both metal. I got this out of a dollar store and I'm not sure what it is. This is a salad bowl apparently. I think I paid, I don't know, two bucks for it or something. The key here is it's metal. This can be square, it can be round, it can be pretty much whatever you want. And the idea is the can with the burner will go in here and this will go on top like that, right? Okay, so how do you put that in place? Well, I got a couple of threaded rods with nuts. I got a couple of washers here and I got a few wing nuts. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these through the bottom, right? So I drilled holes in the bottom here and of course you're going to measure out the size of your can. You're going to draw that circle in there and when you drill the holes make sure of the space for this to go inside the four rods, all right? So let me put those rods in. Okay everybody, so what we have so far, we've got these four threaded rods drilled through this steel bowl. We've got some washers on there, we've got some nuts on there. On the inside, I have some nuts as well to secure them in place so they're not going anywhere, right? Now next step is we need to take the complete burner chamber and fit that in between these four rods. That's quite finicky. Uh, so again, I'll uh, fast forward and uh, we'll take it from there. Okay guys, well as you can see, it's uh, fitted in place. It's not bolted down or anything. Just make sure it's level and uh, it's uh, a good fit, right? Now, finally, we're going to put the cap on top. Uh, again, I got some uh, uh, nuts up here. Put that on top. We're going to put some washers over that on top and we're going to lock it down with some wing nuts, right? Okay everybody, well this is the completed build and now we're getting to the, uh, the safety items that I want to talk about. 
because we're going to light this guy up. Uh, let me get some bioethanol. <clears throat> Here we go, bioethanol. Now keep in mind that you can use uh, methanol, bioethanol, you can use IPA, uh, anything like that. Be sure to put something underneath that's heat resistant. I got a tile right here. Uh, do it in a well ventilated area because of what I talked about, you know, disclaimer, that kind of thing. And what we're going to do is we're going to put some uh, bioethanol in the can here. And don't overdo it. Do maybe an inch, right, in the can uh, underneath. If you fill it to the max, flames will come up here way above your heater, right? So we're going to put a little bit in here. All right, and now you will see that wick in action because as I light it, you will see that it will light from the top here. So let me get some matches. And once this guy is going, we'll turn off the lights. And actually, let's turn some off. Hopefully the camera won't go funky if I do that. All right, so here we go. And I'm just gonna hold it to that top right there and it's already burning. Okay, we'll give that a second. And let me turn off a couple of more lights here. Alrighty, well, that's the complete build. Um, it's uh, quite warm, which is cool, and uh, it's not too difficult to make. So, and there's no smoke, which is kind of neat, right? So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, you know what to do if you did, and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll check out future videos as well. So thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.